Let me tell you a little bit about my personal journey to Silicon Valley from India 22 years ago. Growing up in India, like many of you, I got my first telephone when I was 12. In my case, it turned out to be a rotary phone, so it wasn't that great for selfies, but I still loved to call my friends, play with it, and sometimes take it apart. That telephone cemented my fascination with technology. I remember reading about that and thinking, it's the idea that matters. It didn't matter where you come from or what your background is. One revolutionary idea, one brilliant invention can unleash other entrepreneurs to revolutionize industries in ways you could never predict. We don't know what's next or where it will come from, but we know that the barriers to entrepreneurship and to bringing ideas to global audiences are tumbling. People working anywhere in the world, born anywhere in the world, can create a product and make it available to anyone in the world. The most used messaging app in Southeast Asia was built by a young man born in Ukraine who moved to the US. And the three most popular viral games in the US in recent years came from entrepreneurs in Finland, Ireland, and Vietnam. You're the ones building the next Google, the next Spotify, the next Tesla, the next, well, we don't even know, but what I know is that someone in this room will build it. There is a great quote from Thomas Edison that does the best job of defining what it's like to be an entrepreneur. I have not failed, I have just found 10,000 ways that don't work. <laughs>